how to use Binance Futures Trading quick and easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at Binance Future Trading and how to get started with future trading on Binance. So let's get into it. Now, the first step that you're going to do is you're going to go into your wallet on Binance and you can go ahead in your overview and you're going to deposit money into your account. Uh, once you have deposited money into your normal spot account and once you have deposited Fiat or any kind of money, you're going to go ahead and click on transfer over here and you're going to change it from your SPIA to spot account and send it or transfer it into your USDM futures account. So you're just going to go ahead and transfer your money into your futures account to begin future trading on Binance. So once you have done that, you can go ahead and start doing futures trading on Binance. So once you have transferred your money, you can go ahead and click on derivatives over here and click on USDM futures to get started with futures trading. Now Binance also provides with a perpetual version for you to begin practicing your futures trading before you actually go ahead and do real futures trading. Now to get started with future trading, you can see over here on your left side you have your basic graph and on the top left you can see the crypto token that you are looking at. At. we're going to continue on with btc and usdt and then you're going to have the price over here the index the funding and countdown and the 24 hour change highs and lows so you can see over here you can zoom in and zoom out into the graph and then you can scroll down to see any of your market orders now on your right side over here the data that you see in the green is the data at which people are looking to purchase btc and the data that you see on the red is the data that people are selling their btc at so this is the order book where you're going to be able to make a market estimate now the price of a crypto token is constantly changing and what future trading basically aims to do is you can buy slash long or sell slash short what this basically means is that in future trading you don't actually hold any money you're just betting on the price of the token so let's say i expect the price of btc to keep falling so in that situation i would be selling or shorting where i would be betting that the price of btc is going to fall down to let's say i think it will fall down to 22 7 uh six eight so i expect 100 dollars in change so i would i enter that price over here like so so let's say that is the price that I expect it to be and then I can add my bet for how many BTC and then what you can do is you can also leverage your trade so you can add 2x, 1x or however much or you can even click on this icon over here to open up a detailed forum or you can enter your maximum price. So you can see if it's 1x that means whatever is the price that you are entering however much money you're betting if it's 2x that means two times the amount of money you're betting so if you are betting 100 dollars that means 100 multiplied by 2 which would mean you're actually betting on 200 dollars so that has a high risk of liquidity for a lot of people so that is something to keep in mind whenever you are futures trading and then you're going to click on sell slash short so just like that you can enter a simple trade and then on the top right over here you also have market orders where you can choose to buy a btc at a certain price or have a market order where market orders basically allow you to expect the price at the current given moment so let's say we have three btc over here and then you can leverage that as well like so and then you can choose to sell or short or you can also choose to buy slash long whatever you expect the price to be now after that on your top you also have things like cross and 20x and you also have stop limit so stopping price is basically a price that you can add to stop your profits or losses so you can see over here if you click on over here and you have this trade whatever kind of trade that you are putting so you're gonna click on pnl which is profit and loss and what this basically does is that you can choose to um, minimize your losses let's say if your entry price is 22,000 and your exit price is 20,000 then you can add a quantity of power money btc and you can see over here that they're going to calculate your result later on but uh the entry price let's say that i am expecting the price to go down and i'm going to short my btc now i 
expected to short it but uh and the price that i input is lower than the current price the current price is 22 let's say i shorted it at twenty thousand, and instead of going down the price is all of a sudden going up to twenty three thousand. then i would be going into a loss and i would have the potential risk of getting my entire account liquidated so liquidity is a high risk now what I would do is that I would add a stop limit price so you can have your stop limit price entered and what this would basically do is that whenever the price let's say if it goes up to 23,000 then I want the funds to be liquidated at that price so I am able to stop limit or stop the losses from incurring into my account so that is one way that you can actually stop your losses automatically on crypto trades and this allows you to have a better understanding and have a better just general overview of your crypto and you can minimize losses so even if you are still practicing this will help you in making sure that you're not taking too large of a loss on a simple trade without having to you know go ahead and um, investing large amounts and having to sit in front of your computer or phone to keep on checking the price of the crypto so now you can see on the bottom you have your take profit stop loss and then we're going to add our take profit stop loss and then you also have your reduce only which uh strictly uh, serves to uh, reduce your open position and this is also going to allow you to have a further hold on your crypto money so so now if we take a look at the chart over here, this is just illustrating all of the data. You can go back and see all of these lines over here. Now what do these lines mean? Well, whenever a crypto token's price goes up, that means that the market is bearish and um, whenever it goes up, it's like a bull. When it goes down, it's like a bear. So these are the two terms that you're going to hear a lot of people use. And what this basically means is that whenever the price goes down and it's not going up, that means that is the price of resistance over here. That is going to be the price of resistance. And whenever the price goes down and it's, whenever it goes up and it's not going to go down, that is the price of the bull. So these are just a few things that you need to keep in mind whenever you are looking to do futures trading. Now, make sure to keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor or anything like that. I am just someone that is helping you understand crypto futures trading. If you uh, if you want some professional help, uh, seek a financial counselor, but I wouldn't recommend that you jump on ahead. Try out the perpetuals before you start trading on futures because it has high liquidity risk as well. So, so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video